James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 27, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Fallout from NASA's asteroid smashing DART mission could hit Earth. How did I know they were going to say that before the mission even occurred? NASA says this will potentially trigger the first human-caused meteor shower. That's at best. We hope they are small, but data suggests many large boulder-sized rocks were also expelled upon the dark impact. A new study suggests that millions of tiny space rock fragments, which were ejected from the 2022 collision between asteroid Dimorphos and NASA's DART spacecraft, may be on a collision course with Earth and Mars. Millions of tiny space rock fragments may be on a collision course with Earth and Mars after NASA deliberately crashed a probe into a faraway asteroid two years ago. A new study reveals the celestial shrapnel could start hitting our planet within a decade, but poses no risk to life on Earth, according to NASA. But it could trigger the first ever human-caused meteor showers. On September 26, 2022, NASA's double asteroid redirect test, DART, spacecraft purposely collided with the asteroid Dimorphos, smashing right into the middle of the space rock at around 15,000 miles an hour or 24,000 kilometers per hour. The epic impact, which occurred more than 7 million miles from Earth, was the first test of humanity's capability to redirect potentially hazardous asteroids that pose a threat to our planet. How did that work out? NASA claims that the mission was a major success. Not only did DART alter Dimorphos' trajectory, shortening its trip around its partner asteroid Didymos by around 30 minutes, it also completely changed the shape of the asteroid. It demonstrated that this type of action, known as the kinetic impactor method, was a potentially viable option for protecting our planet from dangerous space rocks. Photos of Dimorphos captured in the aftermath of the impact showed that the collision also ejected a large plume of debris into space including dozens of large boulders that researchers believe could smash into Mars in the next few decades. None of these large fragments are expected to hit Earth, though. But of course not. And even if they did in a decade or two, NASA sure wouldn't admit that they had come from this experiment. In a new study, which was uploaded August 7th to the preprint server ARXIV, and has been accepted for publication in the Planetary Science Journal, researchers turned their attention to Dimorphos's smaller fragments. The researchers used a NASA supercomputer to analyze data collected by the European Space Agency's Light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids. The LICIA Cube spacecraft, which flew alongside DART, as the spacecraft smashed into Dimorphos. They then simulated the initial trajectory and velocities of three million fragments created. This revealed that many of the asteroid pieces will likely reach Mars or the Earth-Moon system. Let us all hope this was not another screw-up by our government agencies and no large space rocks impact Earth. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.